In the shadows of modern Manhattan, surrounded by glass and steel, yet only a subway stop away from the seething city, with its crowds of people, hectic workday schedules, and the office routines, lies the sleepy village called Greenwich. A suburban oasis where one can gather thoughts and enjoy the wonders of nature. saunter through winding streets. Among handsome churches inlaid with antiquity and houses weathered as wrinkled crones and through courtyards stippled with the light and shade of centuries. Here Thousands of people live in an atmosphere much like the one they left in their own hometown. Village life is cosmopolitan, yet relaxed and carefree. Pleasure is found in just being alive, suburban living on an urban landscape. A time to pursue personal pleasures, to find self-expression in comfortable clothing. The tempo is leisurely, and Cotton's casual appeal is in step with carefree living. Worldly worries are laid aside, and time is spent on decorating the home, making repairs, minding the laundry, browsing through antique shops for a possible bargain, or discovering a rare volume in a quaint bookstore. Or shopping in the world-famous Bleecker Street Market, alive with the carnival colors of old world piazzas. With the chores complete, it's time for a few relaxing moments in one of the many popular sidewalk cafes. Freed from conservative business attire, the modern villager finds comfort in cotton corduroy, the fabric woven for the now generation, as ruggedly appealing as the great outdoors yet sophisticatedly shaped for the modes of cosmopolitan life. Greenwich Village has long been a clothes capital. From the early days of our country, village styles have been avant-garde, always a step or so before their time. Contemporary as today, new as tomorrow. For casual wear, carefree cotton has been the fabric most preferred by designers for this most creative of communities. Nightfall creating a world of contradiction, of paradoxes in life. The tourist is lured by a sense of adventure in losing himself in a modern casbah, while the resident prefers an evening spent at a theater off-Broadway 
where the actors and audience share their common experiences after each performance. Or an early dinner in a favorite hideaway. We're going to a party in the garret of a bohemian friend. Like any other small community, Greenwich Village has its town square, once a field for bloody Indian battles and aristocratic duels, hangings and potter's burials. Washington Square is now an island retreat. Here on Sundays, villagers gather for idle pleasure. This pastoral setting is the American Arc de Triomphe, perpetuating in stone the ideals of the father of our country. Washington Arch stands as a monument for all free men. In the old row houses just north of the square lived the 19th century aristocracy. Behind these ancient gates, in leather-bound libraries and French-style drawing rooms, life was gay and frivolous. Today's high fashion cottons reflect the past in designer collections inspired by the young romantic look. Couturier cottons, frilled, ruffled, edged in lace. Delicate feminine cottons, recreating an era of fantasy, of pure coquetry, of sheer romance. Cotton organdies, laces and velveteens, resplendently radiating the nostalgia of times past. Greenwich Village is endowed with a great sense of history. Its brownstones, its garrets, cellars, and courtyards have been home to literary masters such as Mark Twain, Herman Melville, and Edna St. Vincent Millay. Washington Irving, Edgar Allan Poe, and O. Henry. Of President Monroe, Patriot Alexander Hamilton, inventors Thomas Edison, Robert Fulton, and Samuel Morse, artists Thomas Hart Benton and Winslow Homer, and others who have contributed to the American heritage. Today, Greenwich Village is the postmark for many countrified cosmopolitans. 
people who prefer small town casualness to rigid metropolitan dress for them and their suburban counterparts. Manufacturers and designers work around the clock to provide the cotton sportswear and leisure wear they demand for the country life.